All right, so <laughs> we have another experience <laughs> that happened, and this one is a little bit about tongues and interpreting tongues and how to interpret tongues. Anyways, recently, <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't believe in tongues probably like, I want to say, what was that, like two months ago or something? Yeah. And then I just want to read. Yeah, you used to oh. think that it was um, hypnotism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it was like, well, that was what I thought getting people getting slain in the Holy Spirit was, was getting hypnotized. Um, but I didn't really, I thought speaking in tongues was just like, uh, nonsensical jabber because I have, I have Tourette syndrome so I can make these noises really easily so I was like people speaking in tongues I'm like please I can do that all day <laughs> <laughs> I have Tourette syndrome like no uh, but uh, I, I, I recently had a revelation and realized that speaking in tongues is real <laughs> and uh, that it's like actually a thing and uh, I'm just going to read this first actually so this is 1 Corinthians 14.1 and so this, you have to understand this, and then I'll tell you some stuff that the Bible doesn't really tell you about that is related to tongues. That's my experience, and it's really scary, actually. Um, okay, so <laughs> follow the way of love and eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy. For anyone who speaks in a tongue, like, like so if you ever heard people speaking in tongues, they just sound like, random gibberish Russian nonsense there you, there you yeah. go there you go and you don't understand what she's saying naturally like you just it just sounds like gibberish words right so for anyone who speaks in tongues, does not speak and that's like the holy language right yeah or it's God's well, we'll explain it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll yeah. talk about it uh does not speak to people but to god so when mm. you're making those utterances of random noises that you don't know what you're saying it's you're speaking to God. Like your spirit? My spirit. Your spirit is speaking mm -hmm. to God, is what the Bible says. Indeed, no one understands them. No one. They utter mysteries by the spirit. So your spirit is the one speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. your, it's not you. So it's uh, your spirit that's speaking. Uh, by the one who prophesies, but the, oh, sorry, but the one who prophesies speaks to people for their strengthening, encouraging, and comfort. So... But the one who prophesies can speak to people with words, obviously, intelligible words. Anyone who speaks in a tongue edifies themselves. So you're, like, edifying and uplifting yourself when you're doing your example. There you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the one who prophesies edifies the church. So when you're sitting there going, Like, you're edifying yourself. It's like you're speaking to God with your spirit and uplifting yourself right uh, but the person that's prophesying interpreting is, or well, prophesying? Inter this is prophesying Pro oh, prophesying okay. yeah is he's that talking the about church. different the different yeah yes kind of he's talking about prophecy oh, okay. versus tongues in the yes yeah hmm. church to the church of corinth i would like that every one of you speak in tongues but i would rather have you prophesy the one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues unless someone interprets so that the church may be edified mm. so <laughs> this is a verse i never really understood until recently yeah let's give a little bit of context too because that is a good point so this is paul the apostle paul and he's mm -hmm. this is a letter that he's writing to the church corinth, of corinth. yeah and um and he is saying you know th uh, the people at that church all of them like to speak in tongues all the time but nobody really knew what they yeah. were saying Just so like he's actually yeah he's actually like giving them a little like you know like Pat on the back no slap yeah hand. slap that's yeah yeah. Hand. yeah there you go yeah yeah <laughs> of like yeah <laughs> of like hey don't speak in tongues all the time unless you have somebody that's mm -hmm. going to be there to mm -hmm. interpret because then it's like you're nobody, only uplifting you yourself. look like a bunch of crazy mm -hmm. people yeah. you know what I mean Literally, like you're only yeah. uplifting yourself and you're mm -hmm. you know not getting God's message across not to anyone. like the church as a whole yeah yes. exactly mm -hmm. like don't mm -hmm. but they he's also you have to understand that they used to speak entire sermons in, in tongues. tongues yeah so, so everyone's just like yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly like, right yeah so it's okay uh, if you're like praying or and like you're mm -hmm. at a church and somebody you know is mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. teaching a message and then they'll slip into tongues mm -hmm. and then they'll come back out you know what i mean like mm -hmm. and no one's translating that that there is examples of that happening in mm -hmm. the bible 
Um, but when you're preaching entire sermons in tongues and nobody's translating it, then it's it's pointless. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so so. Anyways, he goes, one who prophesies is greater than one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets. So, the uh, notice the word unless there. He's now saying the person who's interpreting the tongues is even greater than the one that's prophesying, mm-hmm. which I just thought, whatever that means, I don't know. Maybe that's just a mistranslation. Maybe it's not worded right. And then another part of me was like, who interprets tongues? <laughs> okay, like, like, no one. No one interprets tongues that I've ever met or seen. Who would do that? Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, I've just never seen it in a church. So, the, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Now, brothers and sisters, if I come to you and speak in a tongue, what good will it be to you? Unless I bring some revelation and knowledge or prophecy or prophesy or word or instruct of instruction, word of instruction, sorry. So, so it is with you. Okay. Unless you speak intelligible words with your tongue, how will anyone know what you are saying? You will just be speaking into the air. Uh, undoubtedly there are all sorts of languages in the world, yet none of them are without meaning. So basically, even if you're to just like mm, ah, mm, ah, ooh, ah, mm, make noises, there's like a meaning to those sounds and those words. I think is to what someone. it's yeah to yeah. someone or to God or to angels. Oh, I wonder whatever. if that's like babies, like ooh, ooh, ka, ka, ki. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> I might wonder be. if they're speaking in tongues. I wonder, like kids too, <laughs> sometimes. Okay, I wonder. May. You know, how kids <laughs> are like ooh, do, 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 well. Do, do. It is crazy how sometimes when you do have a baby and you're like with them all the time, or you'll see. Not yeah, me, yeah, but like, yeah, <laughs> like I have seen someone with their grandkid, and they're with them every single day, yeah. and they have like their own language that they talk. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, how do you know what they're saying? And they're like, oh they, yeah, they like say that kids. when they mean this. Yeah, so uh, it's like their personal language to each yep. other. Weird. Yeah, so, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've my dad kids. and I have a made up language. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like no, but an I've intuitive heard, I've heard thing. Of kids, yeah. the kids, well, twins. I've heard of this in a twin oh, study. Yeah, yeah. Twins will develop a weird unspoken language mm. that they've yeah, actually, yeah, that they'll other. start talking, and it happens with the young kids that are similar in age. I wonder if it's their spirit oh, talking. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably their spirits talking to each other. Maybe. I don't know. It's pro- I don't know. So uh, this is the, I skip forward a little bit. So this is First Corinthians fourteen thirteen. For this reason, the one who speaks in tongues should pray that they may interpret what they say. So when you speak in tongues, you don't even know what you're saying. Just so you know. Oh, I think sometimes maybe you do that. Well, if you can interpret. If you can, oh, if you interpret, can interpret. Yeah. You but a lot of times when you're you. speaking in tongues, mm-hmm. you don't. That's why it says. So, oh, okay, so you're for, like, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah. I have like when I when I pray in tongues. I'm like, which is like, mm-hmm. like, I don't know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I have to have an interpreter mm-hmm. yeah. or mm-hmm. I, if like, maybe God will let me hear, know what I'm saying. Sometime. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, well, this is what it says for this reason. One who speaks in tongues should pray that they yeah. may interpret what they say. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So for I pray in tongues, my spirit prays for if I pray in tongues, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. Basically you're, tongue you're speaking and it's your spirit speaking when you're praying in tongues but your mind is like not paying attention to the words so when you just start saying un- unintelligible ramblings mm-hmm. that's basically what what it's meaning is happening okay. um and it says so what shall i do i will pray with my spirit but i will also pray with my understanding i will sing with my spirit but i will also sing with my understanding so basically he's saying like pray in tongues but also try to understand while you're praying this will make more sense in a little bit when yeah. we explain everything yeah. that happened. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, when you are praising God in the spirit, speaking in tongues, how can someone else who na- uh, who is now put in the position of an inquirer say amen to your thanksgiving since they mm-hmm. do not know what you are saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're giving thanks enough, but who? no one else is edified. Okay, so I'll probably stop there because... Um, oh, what, the last thing. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than all of you. Peter or Paul, Paul is saying this? Paul is saying this? So he does this all the time. And then, uh, but in the church, I would rather speak five intelligible words to instruct others than 10,000 words in a tongue. Because mm. uh, brothers and sisters, stop thinking like children in regards to evil, be infants. Because you're supposed to you're like help everyone. Adults. You're supposed to yeah. help others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So that understanding of tongues is um, very interesting. There's a lot there. And I didn't really comprehend it. And I guess 
Should we tell the first experience? I mean, you already heard it. Yeah, let's tell the first yeah, experience. Yeah, let's tell okay. it all. Yeah. So the first experience, uh, so I'm sitting in church at... Um, it's well, like a conference. It's, it's, it's like not, a conference. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's, not it's like what church used to be. It's yeah. like church. we're sitting in this building. Yeah. with like eight, eight other people. people. Right? Yeah. yeah. There's like an eight people mm-hmm. where you're around a table mm-hmm. and you're literally mm-hmm. just like praying. Yeah. You know, and so, and, well, I'm not going to tell the full experience because I think yeah. I said it. So, but what I'll in the previous video, but what I'll say is that basically God said, "Speak in tongues," and I said, "Uh uh-uh. uh." <laughs> <laughs> and then God was like, "Speak in tongues," and so I did it, and then it just like came out, and we cast the demon out of our a uh, uh, person we know, friend one or two i don't know yeah. um and then anyways then i'm like okay so apparently speaking in tongues is like a real thing and then <laughs> the other day we go to um to back to this meeting event thing or whatever meeting thing with like the eight people and the one woman who's like a prophet prophet prophesy person i don't know i'm I, weird to say any of those words um so she like basically we're all we're all talking or she's talking we're not all talking She's talking and kind of giving word and telling us things. And then she, like, she's goes... She's, like, preaching. She's, like, she's preaching. preaching. Yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah, And she goes in and out of tongues. And I'm, like, sitting there, like, judging her. <laughs> and I'm, like... I'm, like, man, God, is this really you? And I'm, like, thinking quietly. And I'm just, like, she's talking in tongues and there's no interpreter. I'm, like, I'm like <laughs> where's the interpreter, God? Like, you said in your word, it says... There must be an interpreter, which we didn't read that verse, but there's another verse in the Bible that basically says, in a group setting, if someone speaks in tongues, you must speak in order, and there must be an interpreter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, so I'm like, it says in your word there must be an interpreter. There's no interpreter. This is wrong. And I'm like, (laughs) and then I'm like, God, where's the interpreter? (laughs) Is this right? And all of a sudden, I hear a voice tell me, then you interpret. And I'm like, what? (laughs) And then, like, immediately, everything the woman is saying, or past, the pastor Cindy or whatever, uh, everything she is saying, I start hearing in my head, and, like, in her voice in English. It's like, she's like, and I'm hearing, like, like, may God come into you now. And then I'm hearing her say, like, she'll be talking and say, and I hear, like, uh, God, give me the memory I can't remember. Like, and I'm hearing her say these these things in my head. In English, and I'm like thinking, oh my gosh, I'm being creative. This is too. Bad. I'm like, I'm making this up. Oh my gosh, I'm being creative. I'm like this. I, I'm like, I'm making this up. I'm like, this is why is this lining up with the, her actions, the way she's moving her body? I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you're like because she does this. No, she don't. And I'm like, and it's literally, I hear, God, what is that thing? Like, bring to my memory, please. And like, I'm like, and I seeing her line, and I'm like, I can't even look at her. So I'm like, I don't even want to look because I'm like making up things. I'm thinking yeah. I'm making up things, and it's also just like I'm kind of embarrassed because I'm like tripping out, like that I'm hearing this right. And then the guy, another guy, the one of the other elder people there, he says something in tongues, and I hear his voice in my head speaking in English. What did he say? Um, he was talking about how funny something was. Yeah, he oh. said, yeah, he was laughing and he was talking like, Lord, it's so funny. And then, like, he said, I, uh, your forgiveness or something is so great. And, like, I, I, I just heard words, okay, but in English. I don't remember right now and I actually yeah, I don't want to try fine. to recall what I remembered. And there's a reason for that. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, so I hear his words in English and I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, put my head down and I'm like, okay. I'm hearing things. I'm just like making this up. This is just, and so she's talking and I keep just whatever hearing it. And then she stops and then she stops talking. And then it's like dead silent in the room. And I'm like this and I'm like, I kind of like look up and I'm like looking up at her. Cause I'm like, why she yeah. stopped talking? And I'm just like, I'm like, Oh, and I hear like the voice saying, tell me speak, translate, you translate, speak like, like, te- like, and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> and she <laughs> looks did, at, yeah. yeah, she looks at him and goes, brother Brian, you have something to say. And I'm just like, um, he goes, and I hear the voice saying, speak. Like, and as she's saying, I'm like, hmm, um, is it something about t- tongues? And they was more like tongues. Like, like you're like like tears are starting. I'm already to, crying at yeah, that point. Yeah, tears really? are starting to leak down, wow. and you're like trying to rub them away, and you're like tongues. 
like doing yeah. your eyes were like, leaking. Yeah, his eyes were leaking. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and and she looks at him and goes, "Oh, shindara kash and points and And starts, I hear in my head, "You hear what I'm saying, don't you? <laughs> Tell them what I hear. Speak oh to everyone." Gosh, and I'm like, "Scary, because she's like, oh, scary. Oh, yeah, she's oh, a little yeah. scary." Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, "Oh." Yeah, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, start shaking violently. My voice is like shaking. And I'm like, ha, ah, like I can't what even control thinking? it. Lizzie, Dude. me, I was just like, you're all, yeah, literally. That's I was like miracles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what is happening? I wanted to help you because at first I wanted to help you because I it, it was like looked like it was painful. Oh, it was. It, it was, yeah. kind of, it was definitely it, because painful. Because it was like, and mm-hmm. you were like trying to get the words out. And I was like, it's okay. You can do it. Because it was like, <laughs> and then she came up behind him and put mm-hmm. her hands on his shoulders like this. And he. And she he starts was, prophesying. Over yeah, me yeah. In tongues. So Russian she's just talk- yeah. And he was like, and he was like. And, uh, and I'm hearing everything she's saying in English and in tongues at the same time. So mm-hmm. I'm hearing both of it. But like audibly, I'm hearing the tongues but then i'm hearing the words in english yeah and he's trying to like say what she's saying but it was like i guess it was like so intense yeah it was like i oh my breath turned to ice oh yeah, yeah. so my breath is like whew, like i i feel like as i'm breathing like cold air coming out of my breath like an AC unit, okay? Yeah, it's, like, it's like when you eat five and, gum. Yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, it's exactly. like five gum, exactly. <laughs> and and you, a great commercial. Yeah, right. Speaking Russian, of tongues, five gum. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Not very many people would understand it, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I would um, totally buy that gum, right? Um, but no. then he gets, something pushes him out of his chair. Oh, yeah, it just pushes, like, yeah. something just pushes me out of my chair because I'm, like, my hands start going up because I can't even control spirit. it. Yeah. Well, I can't even control it. And she's like, and I hear her saying like, you are going to speak. I'm going to prophesy and you are going to tell the people what I say. And you are going to speak on my behalf for or God. And like, just starts like saying all this prophetic stuff like over me. And I'm like trying to repeat it, yeah. but I can't even get the he, words out because like, it's so intense. It must be without no, it's, 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 it's saying. Yeah, it was crazy. It was like, it was, Dude, I've it, never, my whole body yeah. was like shaking and, violently. And he starts raising his hands and like, okay, I've been to like other like things, like a couple other oh. things with him, you know, not many obviously, but like, and where people are hands. like, yeah, yeah, spirit in, you know, yeah, holy, and, and spirit in. yes, holy spirit, holy spirit in, and, and Brian's like, I you never, know? yeah, I just don't raise my hands. I'm not because the person that raises my if, hands. He's, he's not going to do it if he doesn't feel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so, oh, yeah. and so I'm like, oh, something's really happening crazy. Cause he's Cause I'm like, like oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, my and hands like, just go up. Yeah. I don't even can, can control it. They just yeah. go up. Yeah. And it's not like this. It's not like this. It's like straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know. For, you know the thing is, actually, it's, it's funny like, that I think about that because, like, when I watch people raise their hands, I'm always like, "What's the trick to raising their hands?" Uh-huh. I'm always trying to analyze. Yeah, analyze. I'm like, you're is all, their hands at the beat? Like, you're all this? like practicing is it. Like it? I, no, I was. And no, no, that's and, not right. No, I, for real, no. I would. <laughs> You're like maybe. No, it's, girl, Lizzie does this. It's, yeah, maybe. It's, it's it's oh my gosh, don't hurt me, and something so bright is right here. Hands are up. That's yeah. what it is. It's like, like well, it's like oh my gosh. Like, I think there's a different, few different kinds of hands. Maybe there is. Yeah, there probably is. But the experience <laughs> that I felt are, was in, that, was mine, intense. Yeah, right. Yeah, but well, <laughs> although when you were on your knees like that, well, after oh, yeah. that, it just like, pushed me and, out of the chair onto my knees, and I just fall out of the chair on my knees, and I'm like. Oh, it's okay. I will translate for you. Yeah. And then she's like explaining to me. Oh, sorry. Your hands. Well, no. Oh. You go. Your hands up. I'm on me. Pick me. Um, uh, no. It's like I was going to say when you, when that happened, your mom and I, because it was your, his mom, his parents actually. Oh, yeah. My parents there. were at this yeah. event, which by the way, I, I don't want to get into it, but like it's totally embarrassing. I did not want to be having this kind of experience in front of my parents. Like it's like he's all, my dad is. His eyes were, me, there was a lot of water coming out of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> Um, and also it was just like, we, you know, we, his mom and I both like fall to the ground and just start worshiping, you know, and other, other people are getting on their knees, like the three other people that are there, you know, I I don't know what those two were doing, but I know the one, the lady that was next to me was getting on her knees and we were just like, 
like you know because it was it was just like I mean and you could feel the Holy Spirit I was gonna say you could feel yeah I could feel it yeah it was like would be on fire yeah (laughs) yeah your heart would have been on fire it was ice it was icy too oh it was weird it was like ice and heat coming out of my mouth like and it felt like I took like a really big breath mint but all of my breath was like right now when I talk like this I can feel my there's like warmth in my breath it was like cold air (laughs) Which I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if God's doing a new thing. I don't know what that is. I've never experienced that before. It was weird. But it was also cool. And it wasn't, like, painful at all. The breath thing wasn't. But my heart was hurting from this whole experience. It was, like, aching or it was, like, Oh, yeah. It was, like, sore, aching, sore, hurting. Like, something squeezing it. Like, yeah. yeah, It was, like, it was pretty painful. My whole body was shaking violently. I feel like I I think of, like, what a heart attack might. (laughs) I don't know, yeah. I don't know. But anyways... Hmm. Um, so yeah, that whole thing happens and I'm like, hands up and yeah. I'm like, okay. And she's like explaining to me in tongues how to do it. And I'm trying to just repeat what she's saying. And so she's like, whatever. And I'm just like, speak in tongues, just let go. Don't hold back. Just say the words you're not, you're going to speak and you don't, won't know the words you are saying. So these are like the things she's telling me. So when you speak, I learn, you don't, you don't try to control it. You don't, you can't have a second thought actually is what god told me i don't know if that was the first experience the second this experience. is the second, the second experience. experience okay yeah. yeah okay so the you can't you just say exactly what comes out and you can't think you have to shut off your mind in a sense and you can't recall it you actually she said that i'll be speaking and not knowing the words that i'm saying but they will be the words of god and so i'm like i'm just like repeating this and so i can i can remember like some of it but some of it i can't even recall and if i try to recall my heart starts to like skit all hot and like i tried to recall some of the things she said and it was like <gasps> like the the spirit of god or something like went back into me and my chest started like racing and i'm like oh, okay that was weird like i is that like uncomfortable or is that like good feeling well let's mm. let's go on to the second well, yeah, story yeah we'll go on to the second oh, yeah. story <laughs> <laughs> so this is a whole experience about speaking in tongues so this is the part we haven't really explained fully but um so, Lizzie, you could start it. Okay, yeah. Because so I was like, just sitting in my swing, chilling. <laughs> on my phone. I got my swing. Chilling. No. Chillin'. So, the next day, <laughs> which was Monday. Mind my own business. Yeah. yeah. He kind of was. It had, was like at the end of the day. It was after mm-hmm. you You had been there earlier. You know, whatever. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, you had left. Mm-hmm. And then we, you know, mm-hmm. Jazzy's thing. And then, you know, it was at the end of the day. And um, all day, though, mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. spirit was like... <laughs> I don't think they can hear you. Oh, I was like, just talk to him. Just talk to him in tongues. My spirit was like getting really excited. (laughs) Like I was like really excited to do it all day. And I, and like, Mm -hmm. just to like, I felt, I felt like nudged to do it, do it. Not Mm -hmm. just like, like, had you spoken tongues before that? Yeah. I've been, yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah, I've been praying in tongues for a while now. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. I know, but all by myself, like (laughs) usually by myself. Which is what the Bible says to do. Yeah. 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 And so like oftentimes Mm -hmm. actually I'll wake up praying in tongues, like all, yeah, which is, yeah, kind of cool. But I also do it, I think to like, I think I'm, it's like a warfare thing. Maybe I have no idea. That's what I, my guess is, Mm -hmm. but, um, Mm -hmm. from like I, the attacks at night. And so again, we don't know what we're doing all entirely. We are learning this. All. Yeah, so, we're all learning <laughs> this. So please, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But Lizzie says, "Don't." Do that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so so I, I mean, and I, it's not like you have to try it. It's not like I don't know. A lot of times, you just have to like open your mouth and do it, right? Like you just have. To, it's your spirit. <laughs> it's your spirit. Yeah, yeah, for you. <laughs> Right? Yeah. And so, like, it just, like, kind of comes out. And you have to practice it. It's not, like, something, like, sometimes, oh, yeah. I guess, people, sometimes they get mm-hmm. baptized mm-hmm. in the Holy Spirit, and then all of a sudden they're speaking in tongues, like, Oh, I think my mom said that, that, that happened happened Yeah. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. like. She was little. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. And, oh, one thing God did say to me while I was speaking in tongues, uh, or while I was translating, um, he, no, like, I heard God you speak weren't. to, well, I was not translating, yeah. while, while this thing, experience was happening. Um, God starts speaking to me too while I'm hearing her. So I'm hearing her voice and I'm hearing like God's voice. 
Yeah. Like, and, well, and wait, feel like even... download stuff. So, anyways, that whole day, I was like, mm-hmm. just talk to him. Just mm-hmm. do it. Just talk to him. Just do it. Mm-hmm. So, finally, at the end of the day, he sits down in his chair, minding his own business, and I was in that the front room and I come running in and I'm like you know like starting I was like really excited I was like you know like and he goes whoa 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 hold on it's like riding a bike and you have to if you don't hop on when it's going then you get the bike just keeps going and you like I'm like trying to get on a bike that's already moving so like chill you know and so he's so that's what it was uh God told me was like because I was like why am I so bad at this and he was like it's a skill he's like what skill did you learn that you instantly got (laughs) he's like you need to learn this and so I'm like okay like, yeah. so that was something I first heard from the first experience. Yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah, because that, like, relates back to just, like, people, like, oh, well, I don't speak in tongues. It's like, well, have you ever tried it? Yeah. You know? And then it's like, well, even if it's like, yeah, once, and it's like, okay, well, that's not how it works. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's like, you have to, like, do it. You know, like, keep yeah, going and doing it. like, I suck at drawing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How many times I've heard that? Yeah. So, so anyway, so she basically starts. And so, and I, and I, and what happens is like my heart rate gets skipped up when I think to translate and the thing she's saying to me in tongues, I can remember it is she's like, translate for me. Tell me what I'm saying. Can you tell me what I'm saying? And she's saying it in tongues, but she doesn't know she's saying it. But I like, had no idea I was saying and it. And I'm like laughing because I'm like, stop it. Like, cause I can tell by her expression that she's actually saying that. So I'm like, are, I feel like she's messing with me. Like intentionally making the expressions of tell me what to say. I like, have no me- idea what I, this is. So it's such a b- <laughs> bizarre thing that happens, right? Because it's like, it's my spirit. And I, part of the reason I really wanted to do it was because I wanted to know if I was speaking in tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, wanted like, confirmation yeah, that I you wanted confirmation just, like, that I wasn't just babbling mm-hmm. because I, sometimes I'm up in my <laughs> like room, like mm-hmm. just like, Am I just babbling? You know what I mean? Like praying for like an hour oh, and like this like spirits all. What am I saying? Yeah, exactly. That's literally what it was like. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's literally what it was. And, and she I, was like, I said that. Like, and she like, yeah. I'm like, stop doing this. And I'm like, I'm like, tell me what I. And so I start translate some of what she's saying. And but I'm like, what's hol- even- and then she goes, and then she's like, and she's like, I said that. And I'm like, I said that. So I'm like repeating what she's. And she's like laughing too. I, right, and like, in my spirit, I'm like, oh, I said that. Like in tongues, I'm like, Roshan that I had, which means, oh, I said that. You know, and like, so then he's saying, oh, I said that. And then in my real voice, I'm like, oh, I said that. Like, <laughs> you know, because it was so funny. It was so bizarre too, because mm-hmm. it, my spirit is like mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. more like eloquent than I am. <laughs> my <laughs> actual mouth. Because it's every. When he, There's no it, inhibitor. There's no inhibitor, and every time I speak something in my spirit, then he, he God, God uses him as a mouthpiece to like you know translate it. Or I, it's like total truth right there. It's like that's exactly how I feel. It's like gosh, my spirit knows me well. <laughs> because there's like a few other things that happened, right? But so so we're like laughing, right? Yeah. Because this is like a really like. It's funny. And yeah, it's, it's like, funny. Cool. Yeah, and cool. And it's like, I oh, am speaking in tongues, you know, <laughs> and I'm not just crazy. And she keeps know? doing it. And I'm like, st- you need to stop because my heart rate's getting f- like faster and faster. I'm like, just <laughs> stop talking. And t- stop it. Like, please stop. Please stop talking in tongues. Like, I'm getting like, <sighs> like, yeah. and then my breath's starting to turn icy. And I'm like, <sighs> stop, stop. Like, I'm like, I'm starting to like panic, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I'm like, but it's <laughs> fun. <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> It's <laughs> like, and then, and then the entire room changes. Oh my gosh. I get like, in my, my eye, my eyes start watering even thinking about what happened actually. So all of a sudden it's like, boom, like I feel this boom go into me. And all of a sudden God is like speaking to me. And it's like the most intense experience. Even trying to recall it is like super intense. And, uh, and then he begins to tell me things about this translating in tongues thing. Because at first I'm thinking, it's like, oh, this is fun. And actually earlier, <laughs> like, but like, I'm getting like, I'm getting like, my heart rate's like speeding up as she's doing it, right? And then we actually, we went, our, my cousin came and he wanted to go get massages. So we went to like this Asian place and I didn't want to go. But we went anyways. And uh, I was hearing the people speaking in Chinese, right? And so I was like hearing them talk in Chinese and I'm like, 
and I'm hearing what they're saying in my head, and I'm like thinking, do I understand like foreign languages now? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, no, I'm just being creative, right? And I'm like thinking, I'm like, I can't tell. I'm just being creative. Like this is just me being creative. But part of me's like, am I doing this? And so like I'm like going. I went on YouTube later that night and listened to like people speaking in other languages, and I I couldn't hear anything. At which I'm like, huh, that's interesting because like. I think I realized, like, I feel like God was basically like, you can't do it on your own. It's not you who does it. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, I'm trying to do it on YouTube. Like, what do they say? I got a, a superpower. Like, look at my superpower, right? And so I'm like thinking, okay, cool. Well, uh, so in my head, I'm thinking, man, I just need to know how to, like, get this superpower down so I can, like, just translate everybody. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, sort Party of the- trick. Yeah, look at a cool party trick. This is cool. Hey, talk in your language. I understand. Like, okay, anyway, so all of a sudden, the spirit of God shows up. Like, Lizzie's over there, like, speaking in tongues like, and laughing. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, stop, 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 stop. Boom. And it's like, like, I can't, I can't breathe. Like, I'm like shaking violently. And I'm like, my hands are like this. I like go up. Like, and I'm yeah. sitting in the chair, right? And then I'm just like, all of a sudden, like, God just downloads all of this information. And it's like four or five voices, like, speaking at once into my head. And, like, I, and an angel shows up next to me, and I can hear it. Like, this is, like, so intense. And literally, the angel tells me, he, like, says to me in my ear, get on your knees. <laughs> like, it was the most... <laughs> And I'm like, sit, I'm like sitting in my swing, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, whoa. And I'm like, okay, okay. I, I'll get up and I like slide out of the chair on my knees. And I'm just like, okay. And like my hands just go up. I, I, I like start crying like a baby, which I don't really, He's I don't, not, like, I don't the cry. Only time, like, I'm the crying, only time he the cries is when it has to do, not even cries. His, literally his eyes water. My eyes water. That's about he, it. But I, he was on the ground, like crying on his knees and with his eye, hands like, and he goes, okay, I understand. Okay. And then he goes, I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no more. Okay. I'm like, you yeah. can do it again. Yeah, I know. I know. Never. No. Yeah. So, Sorry. so here's, here's what I end up getting explained by God, who speaks directly to me after an angel tells me, get on your knees. Like in the most, and, I, and I've seen a demon before once in my life. I've seen a demon and that was the most frightening thing I've ever seen. The angel telling me in my ear, get on your knees, was like twice as scary <laughs> as the demon that I saw in my room when I was a child. Oh my god, I don't know how to describe the amount of intensity of him saying it. Like, get on your knees. Like, it was like, it was it's so like intense. It's like, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was so intense. <laughs> like, like y- I'm gonna like incinerate you if you don't. Or like, it was yeah. just like, dude, it was, it was very intense. Put the fear of God into you for sure. Okay, so yeah. here's what I hear. Here's what I hear. So this is what happens. So for those of anybody that wants to translate tongues, <laughs> here's a, here's some information for you. <laughs> the Bible doesn't really tell you, but like I heard directly from God. So maybe this will help you and help you understand why there's not a whole lot of people that interpret tongues, actually. <laughs> and I found out why. <laughs> so, so God literally says to me, Brian, you do not interpret tongues. I interpret, you speak. And so that was like the first thing I hear. And I'm like, okay, okay. Like, and it was so intense. It was so intense. And it is like all these voices speaking at once into me. And so that's number one, he tells me. And then he says, if you do not, and I don't remember the exact order because it's almost like all of these words are spoken together. But then he says, if you are impure and you try to interpret for me, you die. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, and Brian, the reason why your body is shaking is because you are dying right now. And he was like, you are dying because you are trying to handle my presence speaking through you and your body is too weak. So literally the shaking I found out is because God's spirit, when you interpret tongues, you don't interpret. (laughs) Like, God interprets. Like, 
you don't interpret tongues, okay? And so God comes into you, and the speaks Holy Spirit you. speaks through you, which is why you can't recall some of the things you're saying even, because you're not the one really in control. You have to, like, let go. And God said, if you try to fight it, you will die. And I'm like, okay, I'll die. Like, like, like he keeps saying, you will die, you will die, you will die. <laughs> like, you will die. I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> And then he said, what else did he say? He said, you will, like, if I try to fight it, I'll die. He told me if, um, if I'm imperfect, I'll die. And he said, oh, if you say any of your words in what I'm saying, you will also die. Like, like, I'm like, okay, okay, God, I get it. Like, and this is like. And that's because if, I think it has to do with if you're trying to translate, like, you're well, actually. Well, you're well, speaking. You're not supposed brain. to like say that God said something when He didn't. So oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's when you're true, interpreting, but... when you're interpreting or whatever, when you're like letting tra- him, letting use him, you, or use... when he's using. You I don't even know how to say it. I know that's like it's like this vocabulary around it. <laughs> and very like I don't want to die. Yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, um, but it, it's mm. like when you if you are not just open to God in the flow and like in his like river or whatever you want to call it. Like the Mm. only, if you're not in this flow where the, the only thoughts that are going through your head are what God is putting there. Oh, he said, I cannot have a second thought. Yeah. He said, you cannot have it. And I like, I'm like trying to understand what that means. And what he meant by it was literally, you can't have like, Oh, I want to go eat afterwards. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, we're, oh, we're going to play that video game or watch that movie? Like, I can't have a single second thought in my head. Like, not a second thought. You can't handle you, it. No, like, he said, like, it... you, the second, the, like, it will distract you from what he is saying. He's like, and you just need to speak exactly what is coming into you. And he's like, literally, like, if you try to stop it, you will die. Mm-hmm. This is like what I heard. Like, and it's not because God's going to kill me. It's, it's not, because it's, not, yeah. it's because God's spirit is so perfect and so holy that when it enters into you to translate or to speak through you, if you try to fight it, you are fighting the presence of God in your body and your body will die. Like it will just, you will fall to pieces and I don't know, just have a heart attack or whatever. Um, And so literally that's what he said. He said you, that shaking in your body is because you're fighting it and you will die from that. Like literally, like... So he was basically, you're dying is what he told me. <laughs> like, you are dying. That's your body dying. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, all right. <laughs> so, and then I'm like, sitting afterward, I'm like, oh, no wonder there's not a lot of people that speak in tongues. <laughs> or, or, or no, translate tongues. Because they're all dead. <laughs> like, 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 literally, like, they die. Like, if you do this not right, you die. Like, Your body not just a, can't handle God. Like, yeah. You can't handle it. You know. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if the people that do get the gift of interpreting tongues don't even want to say it because they probably got a similar message and it's so frightening that you probably don't even want to say that I can interpret tongues or anything because you're just like, I, I, I understand what people are saying in tongues, but I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> like, <laughs> what which, are you supposed to? Oh, I, oh well, I don't know. I mean, part of me, another thing that was actually verifying that, that I wasn't you know, making this all up in my head when the first time this experience happened was I like felt like I needed to grab a uh, writing mm-hmm. to write what I'm hearing. And because I realized like God sort of explained to me in a way that like, if I write what I'm hearing, I'm not speaking it. Therefore it, the Holy spirit doesn't need to go into my body. Like it's just, I can, I can hear what people are saying in tongues and keep it in my head. Mm-hmm. As long as I don't say it out of my mouth, like then I'm I'm okay. I won't like die from it. Okay. But like, if I go to say it out of my loud, out of my mouth, and I add my own words to it, or I say something, or it. I try He's to. So am- like yeah. analytical too. That was like the big, like a big problem. It's like <laughs> he was like <laughs> trying to like analyze, like oh, like when she says like cash in and thy, it means you know yeah. like yeah, love was... or something. But that's it doesn't work like that. It's not a no. word for word you know kind of thing. It doesn't. It's not like that. Yeah, it's not a I word mean? for word translation. So and I was trying to do that the first time, and that's yeah. why it was like shaking so bad. And like even when you were doing it, I was a little bit trying to figure out. Yeah. Like what words mean what while I was, while I was doing the interpretation or whatever, right. while I was being the mouthpiece for God interpreting. Um, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. It's like, like, yeah, it's, yeah. Maybe yeah. we can get language for how to say that. <laughs> 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 really? Holy Spirit, yeah. please. Oh, God. Um, 
which is which is like the reason why I'm just like I don't know. It it was such an intense experience that like I was like shook like completely. And now it's like, oh, now I know why there's not a lot of people that interpret. They're yeah. dead. They're dead. <laughs> like, or they just stop. Or they just don't want to talk, say that they can do it, or I don't know. But like, so, oh, oh, but the writing thing was yeah. something that I was like, okay, but so I can write it, actually, if you speak it, I can write it because I'm not saying God's voice out of my mouth. Um, and then, and then I told the lady when I was at the table, the first experience, I was like, I need like a pen and paper. And she was like, that's actually what a previous interpreter that she had did. They would, she would write it down mm. because I realized that when you write it, it's not as nearly as intense as speaking it. Which like, is hilarious too, because if yeah. you know Brian, he hates to re- like write, oh, read hate, and write. The, yeah, I do like, not read and yeah. write. And so it was like, he's like, can I have a pen? I'm like, what? <laughs> like to like yeah. write it down, you know, it was like, Anyways, that was the experience that happened. Yeah. And it was terrifying, but also, like, very comforting. Like, God said, like, you will die. Like, when he said that, <laughs> it was like, it was almost like, there was love in that. It, it was like, I'm, in, I'm like, letting you know you'll die. Like, well, you also, have to I be mean, yeah. as perfect as you can possibly be. He's tell- He's teaching you. Yeah. You know, because it's like, and like, Man, how much, like you had said earlier, like, of you know, people are like, oh, God's not mean like that. And it's like, God's not being mean. What are you talking about? He's not being mean. Of course he loves you. Yeah. Like, he's literally co- the he creator of the universe spoke to you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, of course There's he loves love. you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, plus, like, we have a duty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not a duty, but... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> You're asking for it. Speaking of tongues, also another thing God said was basically like, hey, uh, if you try to recall the words I've spoken, it's not in your memory. It's in the Holy Spirit's memory. Mm-hmm. And so if I try to even recall a translation of speaking in tongues, my heart rate starts skipping because the Holy Spirit has to go back into me just to try to recall what was spoken. I don't I don't exactly know if that's like how it works or what, but that's how it was ex- it sort of explained like... to me in a way or felt to me because when I tried to recall some memory, my heart started racing again. And I don't know if that's just because I'm unpracticed in it or I don't know. Anyways, I don't really again, we don't really know. There's not a lot of information yeah, about we this. We don't know. <laughs> We're just trying to figure it out yeah. and God is just showing stuff to us. So yeah is awesome yeah it's yeah. very awesome very fun <laughs> okay so that is the end of thanks. this episode thanks for watching guys and hopefully you learned something from this and if you uh decide to try to speak in tongues um or translate tongues um it's very intense like <laughs> and uh one of the things that i learned is just you just speak the first words that come into your head and you kind of have to shut out your mind. So, yeah. um, hopefully that gives you some insight. If you feel that you are called to interpret tongues, I think there should probably be more of these people out there since there's a whole lot of people speaking in tongues and I ain't ever seen anybody that's interpreted tongues. So, um, yeah, hopefully that helps you and gives you guys some insight on speaking in tongues. Bye.